All right, guys, so real quick video, quick video. This is my water break. Uh, I was in a Facebook group and we were talking about, you know, resurfacing gravel driveways. You can see my, gra my, my driveway, my gravel way. My gravel driveway goes all the way up here and I've got some elevation change up there and you can see down, it's kind of a little orange in the middle because it's a road and I need to do something with it. I'm trying to clean up the sides of it there, but it's anyway so i got some elevation change that i'm dealing with and i'm having some runoff that's giving me fits um so in some places and i need to put some more of these down i just haven't because wood's been ridiculous but this is two four by four posts and a two by twelve and i just screwed the four by four so the edges of the two by twelve and then flipped it over made kind of a u dug a trench threw it in the ground what I was having, I've got, so I've got this elevation change from here, come up through here, up to there. There's probably 12, 15 feet of elevation change between there. And I've also got this elevation change here. So I'm getting a lot of runoff from here, hits here. I've got a little bit of a ditch going, but it still gets some, still gets up here because I don't want a ditch. I should probably put a ditch right along there. Maybe in the future I will, but. So I get water coming and you can see it's still eroding here, but it's it's more of a flat erosion, I guess. I don't know what the technical term is, but it's not digging a ditch anymore. And it hits this and it goes that way. I mean, you can see just from here, the change in the color. But what I was having is I had a ditch that went all the way down there and then it hooked in that curve and went into my pond. So this has stopped that, essentially. Slowed it down a, a whole lot. But this, so what you'll get is on this water break, is it'll hit there. I just put it at an angle. I'm sure you can see. It's sunny out here, I can't tell if this is blurry or not. I just put it at an angle across my driveway. And then I get, you can see out here, the silty runoff. Um, and I'll come back every now and then with the box blade and I just kind of scrape it. There's a low spot right here and that's where I'm pushing it. Had I thought more about what I was doing at the time, I probably would have angled it this way because I've got this ditch here. So I'd have had two things. I'd have had this silt clogging up my ditch. So maybe I made the right choice. But that's some things to think about when you're putting one of these in. But they're super simple and it works. Uh, I mean, it just works. I've had, this has been in about four years. I've had multiple, I think six, uh, cement trucks come through here. I've had, well, in the last week, I've had three cement trucks and a, a 25 ton triaxle dump truck through here. I've run it over with a box blade. There's some scars on there. Um, 85 horse tractor, daily traffic from my, our vehicles, uh, the UPS guy. And it's, it looks, I mean, it's got some, it's got some wear. It's got some battle scars, you know but it's there and uh you will get like i said the silt you'll have to clean this out occasionally but this is well we're this is july and i haven't touched it this year um and it, it, it usually pretty much self cleans and i, I could have to help the self cleaning i probably could have pitched this a little better it is pitched but i think if i'd have put a little more i could use some of that velocity we were talking about to clean it out a little more but what I did was I took an old garden hoe, old generic garden hoe, and I trimmed the edges up so that it would fit down in here. And then I'll just come through and drag it out every now and then. Clean it out. Mm, fire ants, let's back up so I don't get bit. But that's it, man. Um, super simple and it works pretty well. I'm happy with it. All right, then. Go build your one.